Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for coming to check out this video. If you've been here before, then thanks for returning. If this is the first time that you've come to my channel, thank you for being here. And if you like this content, then please go ahead and like and subscribe so you don't miss out when I publish new videos. So, really exciting. Today is the day we have Wave 1 2022 Dynamics 365 release notes. And in this video, we're going to talk through all of the stuff that relates to Dynamics 365 marketing. Now, let's go ahead and let's take a look. So the way in which the release notes are laid out, if you've not been here before, if you've not seen them, we've got the docs.microsoft.com and then we have a whole area dedicated to 2022 release wave one plan. We are going to focus on the Dynamics 365 marketing area. Now this is broken out into three sections. We've got collaborative apps, data and AI and moments based. So we've got different things that are coming in, new features and functionality or changes within each of those sections. So let's go ahead and jump in to the first of the collaborative apps section. All right, so the first one is taking action with your customers in more ways by raising triggers from a journey to run another journey or a power automate flow. So first thing to keep in mind is it shows who it's enabled for and also when it is public preview, early access, and also general availability. This is important so that you can know when this might be available from a testing perspective in public preview and when you're going to have it to be able to use in your live environments. So each of these items that are new has a business value. So what value is this going to give to your organization? And then also what the sort of feature details are. So we're just gonna kind of look at a high level. This is going to allow the ability to basically have a new journey tile that can raise an event trigger at any point during a customer journey in real-time marketing only, not in outbound, but in real-time marketing. So we can basically see that we can activate a custom event trigger um, and we can basically set and map attributes. We can see there in the description, uh, sorry, in the screenshot, we can see that. So we're able to actually activate something that could then go ahead and trigger a flow in Power Automate that's connected to an event trigger and run that immediately when someone reaches that tile in the journey. So this is huge and one thing to keep in mind is with any of these, these are just release notes and maybe a screenshot if we're lucky. So some of the things we kind of have to read and hope that that's what it means. Um, but this is really cool. So a new tile we can put into a journey and start a flow from Power Automate. All right, so let's move on to the next one within the collaborative app section. So this is basically triggering journeys based on data changes in Dynamics 365. Um, essentially without having to write code. So you might have had someone be able to do stuff in your environment to where you can actually trigger journeys um, in different ways, but maybe you needed someone to sort of get involved to be able to either create an event trigger or do something fancy for you. Um, so with this one, no screenshot, but with this we're basically saying interactions in any Dynamics 365 app, so that means sales hub, customer service hub, any of those, so somebody changing something on a record that could be used, that that will be the trigger to actually start somebody down a journey. So no screenshots. So we basically are hoping that we can do things like when a new record is created or when an attribute is changed, maybe from one value on a drop down list option set choice to a different one. So I'm hoping that that's basically going to be as easy as it says so rather than going ahead and actually having to build an event trigger and then use Power Automate to run to gather stuff, we'll be able to do this with a couple of clicks and anyone will be able to do it. So I don't like it when there's no screenshot because then we're just guessing. So that's what I'm hoping. All right, so the next one we've got is personalize interactions using a unified view of customer activity across Dynamics 365 marketing, sales and customer service. This one I'm really, really excited about. I think this is going to be fantastic. So if you think about a contact record, you have the timeline where it's got phone calls, tasks, appointments. It's got all of that good stuff, all of that information. What you're going to be able to have now is those real-time and outbound marketing activities will show up in that unified, unified timeline area. That one is pretty huge. And you're also going to be able to search and filter 
just to show marketing activities only and also things that all emails that were opened or things like that so this one's going to be really really cool that will be public preview in april hopefully that won't change all right so the last one in this area is collaborate across your organization to create the best marketing campaigns possible using the built-in microsoft teams chat now, this is something that um, if you listen to the uh, podcast that I do with Lisa Crosby, we talked about a blog post that somebody had written that showed how you could actually enable this. But now this is something where you could have it enabled and you're not going to necessarily have to be adding in any code of any kind. So we can go ahead and we can actually see on this screenshot that we have this tab here that is a Teams chat tab and the capabilities of using Teams when you're on an email or like a marketing email or a journey to be able to open up and start a chat with somebody about that specific piece of content. So while you're creating your journey, you can collaborate with somebody, ask them what their opinion is or what do we need to add here? Do you have the content? That kind of thing. So that's basically going to allow you to then see the feedback over time and refer back to comments that somebody might have made. Really cool stuff. So that's all the collaborative apps area. So now we'll go into data and AI. So the first one in here is delight your customers with hyper-personalized next best content selection and boost your marketing ROI by opti optimizing with AI. Bit of a mouthful. So this one is June, 2022. Um, so a little bit of a while and also no screenshot. Again, not a fan without a screenshot. So this is basically being able to kind of determine maybe based on um, sort of interactions that one of your customers might have had in terms of deciding what the best optimization of the next or, or of an image to use or content to use based on maybe in previous interactions. So how a customer might engage with offers being sent and then enabling to then use the best sort of content to show to that person for a, a follow-up offer or something like that. I'm not the biggest fan of AI when it comes to marketing. Um, so a screenshot would be wonderful at some point. Um, but yeah, if you like AI, I'm sure you will love this. Uh, not, not necessarily all that excited about it. Um, so this one, Connect Dynamics 365 customer insights with customer journey orchestration when using your own data lake. So this is referring to um, storage of data so that you can then go ahead and um, create uh, Power BI reports, getting access to the underlying data in terms of interactions with opening emails, clicking on emails, that kind of thing. So this is basically being able to combine that with your customer insights um, data and then being able to kind of use that data together. So again, no screenshot, not a whole lot of information on this. So it'll be interesting to see how this plays out as to what it really means. All right, so the next one, Increase engagement using AI-powered optimization to reach each customer on the best channel based on their customer attributes. So this says uh, February of this year. Um, and again, no screenshot. Um, but this is kind of the channel optimization that had already existed in real-time marketing to where you could say, select the best channel to send somebody either uh, use push notification or text message or email and use the best method or channel based on maybe previous sort of interactions. So this is basically showing that the algorithm has gotten smarter. Um, so it's going to continuously learn from how customers are engaging. Um, it's also using specific uh, or it's using customer attri attributes to determine the best communication channel for each customer. So again, it's not a whole lot. It's more just kind of a bit bit vague in terms of this is the business value. These are the details. But other than knowing that if someone prefers email um, or is someone going to engage more with text message, it, it's not giving us too much yet. So it'll be interesting to see how that's going to work. Uh, so then we've got quickly personalize emails using predefined dynamic text without the need to know the underlying data structure. So this one, hooray, there is a screenshot. Um, 
what this is something that I'm really excited about that I think is going to be very helpful for a marketing team where typically you're going to have maybe somebody that really understands dynamics and understands the underlying data model and um, fields that are on contact records and so on. Somebody is going to be able to kind of create and share what are known as tokens, which is essentially predefined personalization snippets. Someone else will be able to create it and share so that the rest of the marketing team are going to be able to use the most common things that they might use. So you're always gonna have a first name, sometimes you might use last name, full name, and so on, but there might be other pieces of data that are unique to your organization that you really want to be able to quickly grab and pull in to personalize your emails. This one I am very excited about. I think this is a really cool one. So creating and sharing those tokens to create a sort of a list of predefined personalization. Love that one. Quickly create emails with enhanced reusable content fragments. Microsoft love a buzzword or they love to kind of like call things something fanciful. Um, it's basically a content block really um, to be able to create reusable blocks of content that not only is just kind of like a, an image but we can see here this wonderful little selection of multiple images that, that can be set up as a content block. So the ability to create them that include layout, text, buttons and personalization. Whereas at the minute, if you've been using outbound marketing, you'll be familiar with creating a content block, but you could either do text or an image. This is a whole lot more being able to create um, buttons in a content block, that kind of thing. So again, really, really great from a full marketing team perspective to have some create the blocks where others can just pull them in and, and use them on their marketing emails. Again, must state this is real-time marketing only that we are talking about. All right, so the last one in this specific area for data in AI, win customer attention by creating conditional dynamic content with easy to use, no code experiences. Loving the fact that now people are gonna be able to do more and more without needing code. Working with clients where they then want to do things that are conditional based on if this uh, contact has this field on their record set to this, do that and so on and do those sort of else if statements. Now we're going to have the ability to, to do that and personalize sections um, based on a specific attribute and use those so we can see here in the screenshot where someone's basically saying, well, this is the default image that we'd, we would be using, but then if the um, contact membership type is set to VIP, then we would use a different header image or a different um, uh, image on this email. Absolutely love, again, this is taking it to where I feel the marketing app should be to have basically anyone be able to use it rather than it being someone that's a developer or can wrap their head around a bit of code. Loving this, absolutely. All right, so the third and final section of our new features that are coming for Wave 1 2022 is under the moments-based section. So this first one is create individualized journeys by adding conditions based on attributes captured as part of the event trigger. Some of these are very long-winded. So this one is coming February 20 to 2022. Um, this one does have a screenshot. So creating individualized journeys by adding conditions based on attributes captured as part of the event trigger. So this is saying we can add one or more filtered conditions on top of an event trigger. So this one right here, we are looking at um, the event trigger is that um, a customer, let's see what this is, a case has been added and then they've added the condition where the priority must equal high. This is fantastic because I could have one trigger that is the case is created and then I can have several different journeys depending on a specific field or attribute on the case record that determines who actually falls into this. So this is fantastic. Again, an additional way to add more layers on top of I've got an event trigger, but I want to be able to drill down slightly differently for different journeys. This one is really, really cool. Liking this a lot. Um, this next one, again, is a really good way to kind of continue on with um, a journey and actually being able to take responses that someone has um, sent via 
a, a SMS or a text message that they've received and replying to that and then taking action upon the, the response that they've sent. So here what we are looking at with this screenshot, um, it's basically saying if the text message, um, if something, some kind of keyword was sent back, so if you think about when you get text messages, sometimes you'll have something that says stop or help or whatever. If a keyword is responded um, with uh, via the SMS and the contact sends something back, we can then use that as a if then and say if the keyword was one of these things, what do we then do next? So setting up default SMS replies for um, how keywords are going to be used, um, fuzzy matching, all of that good stuff. Again, a really good new um, piece of functionality. We've got easily create journeys to send reminders, encouraging customers to respond to a call to action. If you have been creating journeys and you will know if you've been using outbound marketing or real time marketing, you'll know that if you want to make sure that you either send the right follow up if somebody hasn't like completed something, they haven't filled out a form they were supposed to, you're going to have to say, let's wait a certain amount of time and then let's send up a follow up email, all of that kind of stuff. This is really cool because this is going to allow you to kind of have a, um, a, a section where you're basically then able to have multiple tiles that are all kind of um, sitting within a, um, a, I guess, a block of things that is basically saying, so their, their example is an abandoned shopping cart starts with customers adding items the reminder thing will basically keep on reminding them to check out and send them multiple messages. So your sort of journey could set and say, keep on sending an email until someone has completed a form or, or what it might be in terms of registering for something. So this one I really like, we can see that actually this section has a series that will run until something has been completed. So loving that because it means your journeys are going to be condensed, easier to read, easier to understand, um, and hopefully get someone to complete that call to action. And then finally, the last one, and there's a lot of stuff in the marketing area. I'm really, really pleased and impressed with this. So the last one is target the right contacts and leads using the reimagined easy to use segmentation builder. Okay love Mar uh, Microsoft, love marketing. However, I'm just so skeptical about the ability to market to leads because we've been promised this for some time. So great, but it says June. Um, but this is basically being able to create segments based on attributes for both contacts and leads. It looks really cool. It looks really slick. Um, but again, I just feel burnt that um, we thought that marketing to leads was coming a while ago and it's still not here. We're now seeing June uh, 2022 as public preview, general availability to be announced. So it just makes me, uh, I'm ending on a sad note because I want this now. I want this for my customers. Um, I want this for people that um, follow a true sales process in terms of leads come in and we want to drip feed information to the leads before we ever create a contact. So please bring this quickly because people need it. Okay, so I hope this has helped. I hope it's been useful. Um, go ahead and uh, look in the description. You'll see a link to the release notes. Go ahead and read through them. Look at the screenshots. This is my interpretation of some of these things, especially where they don't have a screenshot. And as with anything Microsoft, it could be removed from the release notes tomorrow, next week, the dates could be changed, but this is as of it being live the 25th of January 2022. So let me know what you think in the comments below uh, and enjoy the release notes. Thanks. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.